What's up everybody? Crappy Kirby in the rain, southeast Kansas, bored out of my gourd. So I'll face Mother Nature. I'll be the extreme angler like Carl Kalanka. I'll come out here and try to put some crappie in the boat with some sore lips. Gonna pitch some slip bobbers, gonna pitch some fin spins and see what they like. Beautiful specimen, 13 inches. Ooh, it didn't take long. Well, that was a nice little 13 inch crappie. Right here, right along here. Ooh, I see a whole bunch of them out there. Now the depth is eight feet. So on this one, we're gonna have to Get a little jiggy with it right there. That's about six feet. We will cast out right out there. What a beautiful specimen. Just inhaled it. Thin Spin Pro 13 inch crappie. Big crappie. That caught him. Caught him by a shoestring. Look at that rip I made in his mouth. That's why it always pays to have your drag set a little light. That way it doesn't rip that fish. I'm lucky to have caught this beautiful fish. We only moved about 30 yards until we saw another good cluster of fish right here. Steve, sit down. Don't you dare jump in. Let's see if we can't get them with the fin spins and the corks. Right now it's even, two to two. I bet the fin spin surpasses the corks just because you can cover a little bit more ground. It's got a little bit more action. It's got that flash. There he is. Big 12 inch, 12 and a half inch crappie. 
Where's my cord? It's on its side, going on a trip to Texas. Did I get him? I did get him. All right. One and one. One for the fin spin. One for the minnow. Crappy look identical. They look exactly identical. Well, that was a good move. Any water on the camera? There we go. Damn, that was on the fall. Oh, big crappie. Big crappie. 13 inch. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Here comes the rain. I got it. But hey, I was definitely all right about them feeding, the feeding of these crappie. You know, the other day I was fishing this same reservoir and it was slow. Slow, slow, slow. They weren't aggressive at all. And now I come back a day later, after harsh winds, and what happens? Boom, they turn on. They gotta eat, they gotta eat every day. They need their Big Macs just like us. Am I drifting? Surely I'm not drifting. They need their Big Macs. Letting it fall, boom, I'm on the bottom. Reeling it up about five or six reels, raising the rod tip, and then letting it fall again. That fall is that real slow pendulum drift. Drives them crazy. Looks like a something dead is falling through the water. So letting it fall, letting it fall, come on. Falling in the rain. Isn't that an Eddie Rabbit song? Not an Eddie Rabbit. Oh, there goes the cork. There goes the cork to Texas. I'm hung up, but I get him. I think I got him. But somehow, I did get him, but I'm under the trolling mode. I don't know what it kind of fish it is. Nice cover. Swing him in the boat. That was action packed in the rain. The neat thing about my theory about how they would be hungry today and be aggressively eating is every one of these times. Like the other day I fished this reservoir, I would have a bite and I would miss it on the cork because he would spit it out. My, uh, my cork would actually come to the top sometimes before I'd have a chance. They were just pecking at it. But today, it's going under, it's staying under, they're eating, they're hungry. And that's a good thing, especially when you're throwing fin spins as well. They will thump that action like crazy. If we can't get one on here, throwing it out, letting it fall, getting in the strike zone, getting on the bottom, then just reeling it up again, letting it fall. Once it gets on the bottom, give it a little popsy, bring it back towards you. Oh, come on, crappie, don't prove me wrong. 
Don't prove me wrong, crappy. Oh, big fish. Couldn't turn his head. What do we got? Oh, jeez. Oh, we got the net handy, too. We got the net handy. We're not going to swing this up in the back. Look at that hubcap. Look at that hubcap. Solid. 13, 14 and a half inch crappie. Probably 14 inch crappie. Boom. <laughs> All right, well, that one's one for the quarters. Well, let's just move up. Every time we move up about 20 yards, we catch about two fish. Keep doing it. Keep doing it. <laughs> Never turn the camera off. Hog. Did a hog on the fin spin. He was not getting off either. Spin. Lodge that deep in it. I gotta get the 15 inch crappie. Boom! I'm a fin spin. Go. Man, what a fish. I pulled up on this spot. I had the cameras off. Always leave the cameras running if we've learned anything. I pulled up on this spot, and right below me, it was this huge spot on this on the live scope so I just literally pitched out my fin spin anyway I dropped the anchor and I threw out the uh, slip bobbers because these fish are just literally just cruising just cruising around on here it looks like there's a drop off where they're coming up, they're going back, they're trying to decide, they want to do it, but the water's not perfectly right. 61 degrees. So I'm just going to work this ledge with the fin spin and with these minnows and see what happens. Boy, what a monstrous fish that was. Probably 15 inches. We'll measure it. Oh, there goes my cork. It's going out to Texas. I think this is the one. Oh, there goes my other cork. Oh no, I grabbed the wrong pole. I got him. Nice crappie. Not as nice as the last one, but mad at the world, mad at the world. Ooh, about 35 yards in front of me, right by my left, my right bobber, is a big crappie. See if I can entice him with the fin spin. Oh, and there is on the right bobber. I called it. Got him. Oh, big fish. Big fish. Big fish. Not as big as the last one, but big. Oh, actually, maybe he is bigger than the last one. That's a big crop. I got a dare swinging in. I did. I've hooked that crappie, and look where that crappie's got away. 
That is a big one. My God, that's a tank. Tank. Tank, female. Did I call that shot? Live scope showed me where he was at, and boy, did he come through. All right, I gotta get this uh, some new minnows on here. I'm freezing, I'm freezing, I'm shivering. Time to go. Time to go. Are you kidding me? Huh. I caught one. I caught one while drifting that cork through there. Hallelujah. That's our last fish. I was just going to move. But that'll do it. It's a little turd compared to some of these, but. Booyakata. Two shots. That's our last fish, and we can go home. Cause it is cold, baby. Cold, cold, cold. Maybe just one more cast. <laughs> I don't really consider that catching a fish when you just drift with the cork and it accidentally goes under. So we'll make another cast or two. Oh man, it's cold. There he is, the last one of the day. Hallelujah, fin spin. Even the score. And it's starting to rain heavy. Phenomenal day here in Southeast Kansas with one major toad. One big 15 incher. Whew, that's a cold, rainy day. And we uh, managed to squeak out a limit of 20. Stuck on 19 for a long, long time. But uh, anyway, thanks for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Let me show you that big one one more time. Crazy big 15 inch crappie. Monstrous fish. Come on, Penny Jane. Cold. Cold dog. And I'm the only idiot out fishing today. But it was fun. And we caught one monster 15 inch Southeast Kansas crappie. So thanks for watching. We're going to go get dry. Subscribe to that channel, leave questions and comments. I'll try to answer them, answer them all if I don't have pneumonia. See you, buddy.